got to be the most custom house in America. I agree with you. Oh my God, good job. He is getting so big, guys. <laughs> I don't have the beautiful hair. All right, guys, so we gotta move a bunch of stuff over to the new garage right now. We gotta get some of my cars over there. Yeah, there's two original Sabre seats, a TV for a new YouTube Live studio, which will be really cool. It'll be completely mobile. We have the infamous Bugatti motor. That was a disaster when it, when it first came here. That was from a long time ago, so if you haven't seen that video, check it out when we deliver this to BDD. Oh, oh my God, that, is that not what I think it is? What is it? What do you think oh, it is? Oh, it's an engine. Of what? Bugatti engine. What is that? Some of it's broken, I think. It's really exciting to be able to move some of the stuff over there and bring you guys uh, the garage that's been in process for years here. So there's a lot of excitement. So we're going to be moving cars. And we'll see you guys over there. Gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. There you go. Custom Senna Carbon with the Papaya Spark. Bye. See you over there. See you over there. Bye. Bye. That's a go. Welcome to BDDs, everyone. Moving so, day. second part of moving day here. This is all the stuff that I didn't see the first time around. This is the the Lando. Oh, the Lando helmet. helmet. I was wondering where that went. That's the special yeah. wax of the 300. It's a great coaster as well. I love the Bugatti engine. That's got to go on display. I'm going to take a shortcut here. Yeah, Lando, you demand. You can't just put it straight like that. You like everything tilted. Do I get one of these? I, no. Well, I want one for mine. Do I, get any? I want some special for mine. Well, we need all the McLarens over here. For sure. Over here, oh. we can start with Bugatti. Do we want this here? Does he want this here? Probably. Yeah, let's keep that there. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hi. How are you? How's your legs feel? It aches a lot. It aches and tight? Let's go in. It's raining. It's raining right now. Why are you talking to him in the rain? Tell me if you remember this. Oh. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's cool. I bet you don't know what these are. <laughs> I bet you don't. I kind of do. Are you breaking it already? No, he's, he's, he's wrong. Turbo charger. You're right. Quad, oh, quad turbo. <laughs> turbo. Yeah. Jay doesn't walk anywhere. He just he just turntables around now. I wish we had a bunch of them where he could step to another turntable. <laughs> I'm gonna go ram right through them. <laughs> yeah! Oh gosh, this thing is incredible. Dude, I, I get it. It's so, it's one of the best things. I get it. You took it out of race mode, though. I, I, listen, it's my first time driving it. I'm not, I don't want to drive it in race mode. I don't, I don't want to take the risk. Well, we got to put it in race mode. It looks like without it. It looks fine. It's got to be in race mode. Yeah, that's good. All right, man, she's straight. These doors are just so narrow. They're so tight, yeah. Can you move the 675 over? Yeah. Okay. There we go, straight back. No, straight back. Yep. Yeah, it's speed going. Keep going. You know if I had to pick one car, it'd probably be the GTC. I feel like an idiot. Is that your Bentley? Or the CGT. I said it wrong. No, GTC, you said right. <laughs> it really shows it's the, car the scale. true car guy. It's car scale right there. <laughs> I call it the CGT. Oh. I, that's what it is. I think you just went down another another peg. That's what the, are, are you saying that's the real CGT? You can call anything that has the initial CGT the CGT. <laughs> I mean, it's a Continental GT. What do you expect? Okay, so Pagani's going to go in the middle. Then Ford GT. Ford GT. And then the two Lambos. Yeah, yeah I think Aventador, the two, yeah. Aventador, then STO. Yeah. Let's push the 300 SL over here then once I get this in place. Look at it this way too, when you look down. Like look at this right here, this is. That is amazing, isn't it? I forget how to do this, daddy. Hey kids, hop in. Where's the pop hole? I mean, it's ridiculously tight. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Watch out, Nick. Oh my God, we almost hit a beat. Hey, that thing's freaking oil. And that'll be cool with the doors open. I like it like that, that looks really good. Yeah, that looks so good. Oh, you guys realize? What? <laughs> you were still on winters. Oh my god, it is still it's on winter. winter. Might as well keep it that way now. A little bit, a little bit further. Keep going and stop. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. 
That's what it's meant to do right there. What do you think about that, Dad? I think it's wonderful. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? He just looks down. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's filthy. Well, because it's been over in that garage with all the construction. We, we got to do it. Just for the sake of it. It's all PP after it. Oh, that's how filthy it is. It is. <laughs> we're gonna get just a we're, couple we're in here. Please. We're done for today. Why don't we just why don't we just pull the four GT and call it a day? Yeah, we can do that. We can do think about the two seven sixty fives, nose nose to nose. In, right in the front. In, in front of those. Like So good. It, it really irritates me because like, I don't want to even take my cars back to my garage. I know. Like It's like they're supposed <laughs> to be taking, They're taking over your garage, Dave. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> okay, See you so in the morning, boys. The bad news. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Peace. Right on time. We said 9.30, right? Okay, I'm eight minutes late. Okay, we said 9. <laughs> it's hard to leave my kids in the morning. It's sad. I think we should take the 720 and the Lambo first because I think these two might not make it in. I'll take the 720. I'm not taking the Lamborghini. No single clutch today. No single clutch today. Before we go though, I forgot about something that I discovered last night that I gotta show you. Oh gosh. It's no damage to any cars. You might puke. I'm serious. I'm giving you the worst part of your day so you can have a better morning and afternoon. Oh, do I have to smell it? <gasps> Look in there. I, what am I looking at? Just look. See, see if you can tell what's in there. All right. Let me see. You see. It might be different from last night. Oh. Oh. It's like a big <laughs> trash out last night. I opened this up, dripping with maggots. I opened it up, my nose instantly burned. A raccoon died in it. Oh. You could see a pile of fur just moving around with maggots. One of the most god awful stenches ever that I've ever smelled. Okay, now that that's over with, now your morning can only get better. Unless you total the Lamborghini on the way over there. Great. I'm glad you put that thought out there. Into the <laughs> He was here since nine. What bull? Hi. Were you waiting on us? Yeah, I just I came back home. Did you actually? Yeah, I, I'm home right now. Are you on your way over there? We're here. Oh, are you? Yeah. Hey, I have McLaren calling me. Let me just get this over here. This is incredible. Yeah, look this at is all awesome. the McLarens lined up there. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks incredible. Well, I, I have the 720 out there. I just want the 765s here. So those so like good. nose to nose right there. That's man. gonna be great. I'm keeping mine here. I love the aquarium though. That's my favorite part. Yes. That's real. Wow. How do they get the fish up there, Jay? Yeah, yeah. Or a ladder. Okay. Well, <laughs> good, Jordan. I have food in my throat. I'm going to choke. That paint looks good out here. Oh my gosh, look what's coming. The best car in the collection is coming up. Oh, really? Right huh? here she is. <laughs> Jay. Looks good, doesn't it? It does look good. You know, I was looking at matte red STOs, and I realized yours is one of the only ones that has a black roof. Yeah. All the matte, matte reds don't have them. Well, it was a very expensive option that yeah. wasn't in the configurator. I had to ask about it. I'm just going for a ride. You want a new car? Yeah. I feel like what do you think? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Yeah. Are you happy? Good job. How you doing? Good to see you. Good. Yeah. Good. Look at all. Like, so is this your first time being over here now with all the cars in? Are right. they all in? Um, most of them are in. There's still some that aren't going to fit, okay. but they're not going to be over here permanently. We have the, the British section over here. Obviously, all the McLarens in one row. You have your Aston Martin and the Bentley to complete the British side of the garage. Wow. You happy? It's turned out good. Yeah. Whoa, hold I love that car. Do you want it? The 720F? Yeah, do you need it for sale, Sam? Do you want it for sale? Wow. Because I have a 765 to get. This is definitely my favorite side, seeing all the McLarens together wow. and the different generations is one it of the It doesn't look things. bad. Look at, look at the beams. These cars look better in this garage than they do in mine. So this is really special here. So we have, you know, the, the two gullwing doors with the plaid interiors. Um, you know, we've gone over the, the history of why that's plaid and it's because of Mercedes. So to be able to have this here and this on the, in the spotlight for going around in the showroom. They look so good next to each other with the doors up. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, but we're gonna go through in a lot of detail on the full 
collection update. Just be update. sure and, and catch our next full garage update. We moved in this side, so we have a few cars over here. This is kind of more of the random section with the Lambos, Ferraris, Bugattis. I just love it's called the random section. This is this is the random side. Oh, it's um, not random. There'll be, so we are missing RBC right now, but that'll come later. This uh, is almost just as fun. I mean, you've got kind of all the similar, but like just seeing everything different, being able to see like a Ferrari, Lamborghini, a Ford, and a Bugatti all next to each other. <laughs> No, it is really. Which it's, side is your favorite, BDD? If you had to pick well, a side. If you're taking a side, what side are you taking? That's the right side. side. What's of what? Of course. This side? No. It, depend, right it depends on which way your wheelchair is facing. <laughs> I don't know. This is a nice side, too. I would definitely take that side. Okay, I'm taking the British side. You're a little biased. That's a pretty good question, though. What side are you taking? I bet there'll be a lot of different answers. Yeah, I bet so too. Yeah, let us know which side of the garage are you taking? It's British oh, versus the world. British versus the world. Yeah. I love that. But why don't we take you guys upstairs real fast? We'll show you up there. So, I mean, it's really built like like a house, right? You got the beautiful wood steps. You have the aluminum. You have all the glass railing. So this is something that uh, when BDD was designing this, he was in my garage and looked down where you could see all the cars in mine. And he's like, I, I need that for both sides of the garage. So you can actually see all the cars in here as opposed to mine. You can only see some. But look at the view that you get from up here. This really is cool, actually seeing it from up here. This is the first time I've, I've been up here looking down on it mm -hmm. with all the McLarens. So, you know, up here there'll be a little sitting room. You know, there'll be chairs. There'll be just kind of, these are lounge areas to see. You know, you can see the, the big screen a lot better. Up here. Same thing. So it's, it's just a duplicate, but we'll take a look out over here. We have France, Italy, America. Italy, Italy, America. Japan. Japan. Yeah. You can get a real, a real cool feel for the architecture for all the curves up here. We have to show them where, where our part of the garage is, where we do all the work. Really, this is a really cool part. So you see the showroom in here. This is where our, our on-staff mechanic will, you know, anything that we need for any of the off-road vehicles. Um, you know, he has to put actually the 300 SL up here because it's leaking a little bit of oil. So he's going to put it up here and see, see what he can find. So very, very functional. I agree to. Oh my God! Good oh my job. God. He is getting so big, guys. <laughs> oh, that feels good, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> Do you yes. like it or no? So is that like you're driving? Ah. Steer it. Steer it. <laughs> I don't have the beautiful hair. Okay, tell me what this would feel like, okay? Kay. Tell me what this is. Skydiving? No, driving the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! God. <laughs> he got, he got the tip. <laughs> so as we go out, even the doors are just absolutely massive, and these are all custom done. So well, did you see when they door. were doing this? These are solid slabs that they like. Come here. Okay. We're slabbing it right now. Look at this. Look at this slab right here. Look at that. No, they like cut these doors on site. It's crazy. It's not like it went to the door store. Dot com. So this is meant to, to look exactly like the house. God, look, look at the lights even. They're gigantic. But chiseled by hand. Like these guys have gotten like these rocks out of the earth and they're like chiseling it. There's chiseling going on right here. Okay, look at the chisel. Isn't that amazing? Okay, look at here. Get the view. Four by four. Don't you love that? But look, even on the garage, there's there's slate tile up here. There's it's a slate roof to match the garage. I mean, just, just the whole structure is just incredible. It's like what went into this garage. It's mind-boggling considering I built my garage and how I built mine. It's nice, but I mean this is a fortress. This will stand for 200 years. It's got to be the most custom house in America. Right. Well, and the grounds. I mean, you know, the, the full package. You're talking the house. You're talking all the landscaping. Uh, just the driveway, the guest house. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's talk about that real quick. So this is yeah. going to be what the whole way. Does that pavers. This is pavers the entire way. Oh, so ahead. pavers that kind of resemble a brick road type, but everything. So you have the, these pavers that are about brick sized, and you know over all the concrete, all the concrete you see, this is just the base. So there'll be there'll be pavers and a nice design all the way through. Everywhere. So, but so one of the coolest views <laughs> is opening this main middle door here and seeing what's rotating inside. Hey guys, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> I'm just sitting in the garage. I mean, how cool is this though? When you walk in and you see a rotating. Academy, one of one MVVC. 
I mean, it's just amazing. Well, we've been waiting a long time to, to present you guys with this, uh, with this garage tour. Um, we've kind of gone through some of the architecture. We've just seen a little bit about the cars. But here in an upcoming episode, we're going to actually go through a garage update and go through every car that we have and just kind of give you a little, some, I guess, cliff notes and quick notes about each one of the cars. That'll be the first time we've actually gone through every car. I'm excited for myself just to have the opportunity to go in in order because there's some cars I haven't sat in for quite some time. You know time. what? We got some stuff to do. We got cars to drive, so you guys need to get out of here. We'll see you later, okay? Go. Leave. Bye. So we got the call from our Chevy dealership that it's time to spec out our two Z06s. Triple F, the main man. That's right, this is the guy right here. BDD, you heard it here, the main man. That's right. BDD, so we have BDD Z06 to spec out today, and then we are gonna spec out one as well because we're gonna get one. One of the main reasons why, why it's gonna be nice to have two and not just one is one can kind of, like we said, just go be around, we can drive it normally. The other we can benchmark against all the other hypercars. Right. And we can see how this $150,000 Corvette compares to a four or $5 million car. Mm -hmm.